our small application. So let's go do that. Let's go to routes and, and right here we're going to do it in the home page. All right. You could, if you wanted to do it in another route, like a send email route or even create a controller and do this in the controller, it's up to you. I'm going to do it here just to do it in a fast way. All right. So first of all, we're going to create a data array here because what we want to do is have some data, right, ready for the, um, the message. All right. So I'm going to have a title here. It's going to be an associative array. I'm going to say, hi, hi, student. I hope, I hope you like the course. All right, cool. Let's go and create another one for content. And this can be whatever you want. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you right now, this as uh, keys are going to turn into variables once it gets to the the template, the, the view. And I'll, right now, if you don't know what I mean, don't worry. I'm going to explain to you in a minute. This Laravel course was created with a lot of love and dedication for you. All right. <coughs> and that's true, guys. That is very true. All right. Cool. So if we want to send mail, right? we have to use the mail facade, right? Or the mail class as they, as I call it. And there is a method called send. There we go. All right. So now it's complaining here that this class is not included, I guess. Let's import it on top. All right. So it doesn't complain. <laughs> All right. So the first parameter here, this is going to take a couple of parameters. The first one, would be the view because the way this works is that this will actually uh, use a view instead of a raw message. Now there are many ways of you can do it. You can actually send a raw or HTML message by default. This is sending an HTML message, okay? But you can make this raw, and I'll we'll go to the documentation right now and, and see it. But let's just do this right now. Let's try to set up this. Set this up. Views. I'm gonna create here a folder. I'm gonna call this mail. All right. Or emails. And inside here, I'm just gonna say test. All right. Cool. So let's go back to route here, and we're gonna say emails dot test. All right. Emails for the folder and test test for the file. This is how we do it, just like we do views, because this is a view. So the same method can take views like this. All right. Now the second parameter here would be the data that's going in. And here you can put your array here if you wanted to, but we're just doing it like this. That way we can just pass it in in a cleaner way. All right. The third parameter is the closure function. And now here, what you can do, this takes a variable and you can call it whatever you want. This variable turns into an object, which you can use to call some methods like the two method. Where is the email going to, right? Uh, well, let's say it's going to Edwin Diaz at edwindiaz.com. For example, that's what we're saying is going. All right. And it's going to a guy named Edwin like this. Oh. All right. And then we can change this to another method, um, the subject. There we go. We can say hello, student. How are you? Or something like that. Okay. Now remember that you're gonna what you're gonna be doing is taking stuff from the form, all right, and inserting it right here, all right, like form stuff. This is we we hard coding everything right now, but remember that this information will come from a form, all right. And then you can take it to your view. So if we go to the view, we take it there. But we're going to do that in the next lecture, okay? Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next lecture.